I'm just showing how you get a horse to flex at the pole. This horse already knows it, and I'm going to hop on a very green horse to show you after. But if I just want him to drop his head, I just am holding pressure sitting straight up that I don't want him to go backwards. Okay, this is flex. If I wanted backwards, I do this plus shift my weight and then pull. So when I started out with him, riding him, asking him to, because I rode him for two years, just letting him go strung out. When I asked him to start flexing and put contact here, he might have flung his head up. And I just keep holding to a little drop and release. I might do that four times around the ring, you know, take up a little bit of pressure, push him forward, okay, so I'm squeezing my legs to keep him going forward but asking if it's tough, okay. That's really hard to do on a green horse because you really want forward. You want that horse to go on forward, so if you start asking for too much of this flexion, you're going to stop that forward movement on a green horse, uh, but I'll show you how to start getting it. And then at the trot, same thing. When I started asking him to trot, I'd only ask for a little bit and say, yes, yeah, that's what, and then take a little more. But now he's at the point where he can stay and pretty much flex and do good. So, good. so now I'm going to show you on the green horse um, that same thing, but you'll have to do something different. I just want her face. I don't want her to move. So I'm just really relaxing. Good. And then I'm going to ask her with this rein. Slide down low. Let the outside rein slip through my hands. Good girl. Good girl. So if I would ask her to flex right now, she might back up. I'm just going to take hold of both reins and wait for her to bring her head down a little bit. And the minute she does, I'm going to release her. I'm looking for the slightest try at first. Good. So I seesawed them back and forth until she dropped her head. Good girl. So, again, at the walk, that's really tough on a horse that you want to teach forward and potion because she's probably got about 15 rides on her. So I really want to teach her forward. And if I start doing too much of drops, good. I'm going to shut down forward. And I just really want forward to be nice, and ooh, release. So I'm going to ask her to stand still. I don't want her to back. I just want her to bring her head down. Good. Good girl. This is probably the, the right there she took a step. I'm going to correct her. Uh, second time I've done this with her, I asked her to drop her head. And the first time, good. I had to back her fanny up on the fence. Now, before you do that, that isolate set takes away their desire to back up because the fence is in the way. Before you do that on a green horse, you might want to get off on the ground and back her butt up to the fence first to make sure she's not going to uh, ricochet off that fence. And obviously you don't do it to an electric fence. So here I just am saying, give me that soft feel. Good and get soft to my hands. I'm not pulling on your face. Good. So don't pull on my hands. A lot of times they'll root. They'll throw their head up in the air. I'm glad this is boring for you. It's excellent that it's boring for her. Good. So you just give back. Good. That's very good for her because she flipped her head up and backed up. So then once you have, like I said, I don't want to work on that too much with her because we're working on doing a nice forward walk. But if I want to, if her head goes up, I can just hold either one rein. I'm not caring where she goes. And when she drops her head, give back. Or I can hold both reins. 
and just but push her good push her forward so the minute she tried I got off her face all right and again so push her forward so it gets off to my hands good and just a little try I'm the reward so I might only do that you're okay you don't so she's not quite sure good I might only do that in three different spots and then work on something totally different like um, flexing to a halt. There she got stiff. She's still stiff. Good. Flexing to a halt. Disengaging her hindquarters. Just walking on. So you don't want to... You know, again, I want a forward walk, so I really don't want to... Come on. I really don't want to hold on her face too much during any one session. Cheyenne and... Ooh because I'm working on that. Hope this helps. Thank you.